I'm back again. And if you guys saw my last video, I'm wearing exactly the same thing. Yeah. Anyhow, if you guys saw my last video, I'm so sorry it was so lame. But hopefully this video is a tad more interesting. Hopefully. I don't promise anything, but yeah. So guys, if you guys already saw the title, you guys know what this video is about. And it's how my boyfriend and I started dating. This was another suggestion from someone and send it through Snapchat. Because they added me on Snapchat and told me there. So yeah, great. Um, anyhow, that person told me to do a story time because I mentioned in my previous videos that I had a boyfriend and that we've been dating for almost two years. So she said that she would like to know how we started dating. And I hope you guys enjoy this because I don't know, I find it kind of cute but weird the way we started dating. Probably not for other people, but for me kinda. But yeah, let's get started. So basically my boyfriend and I started dating September 16th of 2015. Um, though, there's not really much backstory to give because, uh, we knew each other previously for, like, a month, and by that I mean, like, talking because, okay, let's go back. The school year started, senior year, a couple months before, my ex broke up with me, and I thought I wasn't going to date the whole year. I really thought I wasn't. I even told my friends I was going to stay single my senior year. And that was my idea, my mentality. I wasn't going to date. I wasn't nothing. And, you know, periods started going. I got to see a lot of my friends in classes and all that. Like, hey, I know these guys. They were in my previous classes last year. And, you know, all that. And then I got to my last period, which was sixth period. Um, I was a counselor's aide. But counselor aide people were... It was full, basically, so they told me I had to be a student aide, which if you guys don't know, it's the students who help the teachers, you know, with school stuff and all. So it's basically kind of like you don't do anything and you pretty much get an A for that class. And by that is inputting grades and stuff like that. So it was pretty easy. Um, I was looking for a teacher and my favorite teacher was taken. My other favorite teacher was taken. So I was thinking, who can I choose? So my fifth period teacher was my English teacher and I asked him if he had a student aid for sixth period and he said no. So I asked him if I could and he was like, yeah, sure, why not? Which I thought was really cool because, you know, fifth period I can just stay in the classroom. I'm not going to be late. Um, then I can leave my stuff there if it's a block day. I got there the next day as a student aid and it was like, it was interesting, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I know some people from this class. So I was like, and then I feel very much superior because I'm like, hey, I'm putting all your grades in. So <laughs> don't fuck with me. <laughs> okay, not really, but yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I saw this boy in class uh, and I thought he was really cute, but I was like, I'm never going to talk to him. I already know that he's not in any of my classes. He's only in this class and I'm not even an actual student of the class. So I can't really like like if the teacher say get in partners or something, I can't just choose him because I'm not participating in the class. So I was like, I'm never going to talk to him, whatever, you know. Plus, I said I was going to stay single. No. <laughs> that day, my cousin, uh, I left um, after school. I went to my cousin's house so my dad could pick me up there. Um, and <laughs> I told him, hey, I'm leaving with you today. And he's like, oh, okay, uh, wait for me over here someplace, right? And I was, I was like, okay. And he was talking, like, not making fun, but like, you know how friends talk shit to other friends about other friends, and it's just like, that's how friends are, basically. <laughs> like, in joking way. So he was doing that to the guy I liked, which is my boyfriend. Um, but back then, you know, he was just the guy I liked. And I was like, who are you, who is he talking about, you know? And then... He's like, oh, there he's coming, the guy we're leaving with. I'm like, okay. And then I see him, I'm like, oh my God, it's him. And I'm not going to tell you what they were saying about him because yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but I don't know how to say in English, but in Spanish is carrilla. It's like they, they were giving him carrilla. I, I really don't know what it means um, or how what it means. Well, how to translate it into English. 
anyhow, going back to that, uh, yeah, I thought he didn't want to talk to me at all because, you know, he made no conversation, no eye contact, no nothing to me, like, at all. And that was, like, for a week or so, a week, a week and a half, probably. And then I started getting more comfortable, and I was like, you know what, I want to make conversation, you know? And I thought he was a player for something that my cousin said, and I was like, he's not interested in relationships, but I was like, let's give it a try, you know, at least to be friends. So I started talking, you know, and all that. <laughs> started making jokes of inappropriate things, but it was funny, you know, it was like, that's how we talk, right? And um, I told my mom I liked him a lot, and she wanted to meet him and all. So we went to my cousin's birthday, and him and my cousin are like really close friends. So he went there, and I was like, oh, he's here. I'm like, mom, that's the guy I like. But by then, we were already kind of talking, right? So I remember, and I always like to bring it up, that I was like, hey, Jacob. And he's like, eh. And he left, and I'm like, okay. I was like, whatever. And my mom was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally friends. I was like, no, I mean, we do talk. <laughs> Anyhow. Going back from that, I was like, okay, probably he doesn't want to talk or anything. Then we were joking around in the car, uh, probably a week later or so, and we are joking around about um, homecoming and stuff like that, and sex, and a lot of things, right? We were talking about a lot of things. And he brought us back to my cousin's house, and my cousin, I was like, bye, you know, I was joking around with him. And my cousin was like, you like him? I'm like, no. I was like, yeah, you do. I'm like, Oh, I was like, I won't tell him, tell me. I'm like, okay, you better not tell him, but yeah, I like him, okay, shut up. He's like, then why didn't you ask him the whole coming? I was like, no, 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 no. Because I already said I wasn't going to homecoming because I didn't want, I didn't have a date and I didn't have money. So I was like, no. And he was, he was like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And um, according to my boyfriend, my cousin, Messaged him and told him that I liked him. And I'm like, what the fuck? Now I'm like, I'm like, why? Why did you do that? But at the same time, I'm kind of happy because that kind of gave him the initiative to actually ask me and talk to me more. So we started, uh, he added me on Facebook. And the day he added me on Facebook, I was with my cousin. And he added me and I was like, oh my God, he added me on Facebook and all that, right? And I immediately messaged him. And he was on, but he didn't answer me. And I'm like, okay. And he didn't answer me the whole day. And I was like, well, this fucker, okay, whatever. I'm not going to talk to him, whatever. He added me, I messaged him. He didn't even answer me back. And he was active. Then he was unactive, you know, like, like it seemed like he was active and probably saw my message, but then got off, logged off or whatever. <laughs> and I was like pissed and it was nighttime and I was with my cousin and we were in bed, my cousin and I, um, and she was like, don't be mad, you know, don't talk to him or whatever. I'm like, I won't talk to him, whatever. Whenever he messaged me, I'm going to ignore him. And I lay down and I was going to sleep. And then my phone, like, lights up and I was like, oh, you got a message. I'm like, yeah, I know, whatever. And I thought probably my mom asking if we were ready to sleep or whatever. And I check and I see him like, it's him. <laughs> he answered me. She's like, who is it? I'm like no one and she, well i was leaning on this side so she just kind of looked over my shoulder and she's like oh and you're not gonna message him right i'm like no <laughs> but of course we messaged him we talked for hours and that was like in a span of two weeks we actually got to know each other better we like talked and talked and talked and talked for hours we had a lot in common and it was like one of those like where they say you can talk for hours and time passed so fast you know you're talking in the morning and it's already night time and you guys have been talking for hours kind of like that but not never really in person did we talk like that then finally september 16 2015 um came uh the night before he asked me where i hang out at lunch and all and i told him where and he said that he asked me if he could hang out with me at lunch and i was like sure why not the thing is that he, I didn't know he was always late for school. So if you're late, you have lunch detention. And he had lunch detention that day. But I didn't know. And so first 15 minutes, I'm like, he's not coming. Okay? He's not coming. I haven't seen him. He hasn't even passed by. He's not coming. He probably forgot. Like, whatever. My friends mostly speak Spanish. So I was like, oh, well, whatever, you know. He wasn't even going to understand, you know. We are going to be talking here all awkward. Whatever. 
And then I see him pass, and I'm like, oh my god, he's coming. And then I see him turn one another way, and I was like, or not. And then he comes by, and I'm like, oh my freaking god. Oh, he comes over, and he's like, hi. And it's kind of an awkward kind of hi, like, oh, hey, hi. And then my friends were laughing at something that another friend said, but it's like more funny if you were in the moment and if you say it in Spanish. And they were all speaking Spanish, and then I was speaking to them in Spanish, and then to him in English, and I was like, what the fuck? And we were kind of talking, but it was like very awkward. It was like, okay, probably we're not meant to talk in person. And the bell rang, and I was like, okay, I'm going to class. And he was like, okay, uh, where's your class? And I tell him where, and my class, okay, this is a building. His class was on this side, and my class was on this side. So he's like, oh, I can walk you to your class, you know? I'm like, okay. So he walked me in, and we were like very quiet. We weren't talking at all. And, um... <laughs> He stops in my class and all, and he, I'm like, okay, bye. And I turn, and he's like, no way, Alexis. And I'm like, what? And he's like, uh, oh, well, do you want to go to homecoming with me? And I'm like, what? Okay, I'm holding my books and my binder and everything, and totally cliche kind of thing. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, what? <laughs> and I was smiling. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so it makes me so happy when I think about it, okay? Um, so I was like, okay, great. And I'm like, okay. And that day we were going to leave with him. We usually we would leave Monday and Fridays with him. But this was a Wednesday. So we were leaving with him. I was like, oh, great. The day he asked me to homecoming, I'm leaving with him. Okay. And, um, that happened. I went to my class and I went screaming into my class. I'm like, I told some of my friends, he asked me to homecoming. <laughs> they were like, oh my God, congratulations. And all that. I was like, so it's great, right? So, uh, the period ended, and I saw him, and I came up to him, and I was like, hey, you know, we're friends now, you asked me homecoming, but then my cousin was mentioning a girl, you know, some girl, and I was like, oh, probably he likes that girl, I'm like, oh, probably just asked me a homecoming just because my cousin probably told him or something, you know? So, he had to go to the band room to pick up something, and I said, oh, I can walk with you, and we were talking, I'm like, so you like that girl? He didn't answer. I was like, well, if you like her, you should ask her to homecoming, not me. And I was like, whatever, you know? And he's like, he just, he was quiet. And I was like, okay. I was like, awkward. Um, and I was like, you know, you should ask her. And by, and probably you should even ask her to be your girlfriend. I mean, just get over with it, right? I was kind of sad about it, but I've always been the type of person who likes to bring people together. So I'm like, you know, just go for it, you know? I've done that a lot. So I was like, it hurts, but I mean, if he's going to be happy with someone, then yeah, sure, that's great, right? And I really, really thought he didn't like me. I was like, you know, we've only known each other for a bit. I liked him since, like, probably day one, and he didn't even notice me for, like, the first few weeks that we knew each other. So I was like, whatever, probably he's not into me. So I, um... <clears throat> We go back and we're we're in the car with my cousin and my cousin he, my boyfriend decided to put gas in his car. We were going to eat, I believe, at Carl Jr. If I'm not wrong, Carl Jr. Jack in the Box. We were eating at some fast food place, and um, I was not allowed, okay, because I didn't ask permission to my dad. But I, they said it's gonna be quick and all. I was like, okay, if it's gonna be quick, then let's go. Well, it wasn't. It was going to be quick, but my boyfriend messed up, and I still love to bring it up and make fun of him. Uh, so what happened was uh, he stopped for gas, and my cousin got off the car and went with another friend that was also going in his car, right? So it was just me in the car, and I was like, okay, I was sitting in the back. But because I was comfortable with him talking now, I he, he got in the car back, and I was like, like the seat, and I was like, so, I'm going to ask that girl. Because I wanted to know, okay, I wasn't really, like, happy or waiting, excited for the answer, like, yes, I am. But I wanted to know because then what if I go back home to my parents and I'm like, hey, he asked me to homecoming, can I go? And then it's like, never mind, I'm actually going to take this other girl. So I wanted to be sure. So I was on the seat and I was like, so? And he's like, so you're telling me I should ask this girl to homecoming that I like? I'm like, yeah, and to be, and to be my girlfriend. And I was like, well, yeah, if you feel like you want to, then yeah okay 
So, <laughs> I remember that he's like, okay, and he turns to see me, and I'm like, do you want to be my girlfriend? And I'm like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, uh, my jaw dropped. I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, do you want to be my girlfriend? I was like, so you're asking me to be your girlfriend? Yeah. So you want me to be your girlfriend? Yeah. You want me to date you? Yeah. And I was like on and on of questions because it was kind of like it didn't click in my head that he asked me. So in the end, we parked. I'm like, okay, so just to be clear, you're asking me to be your girlfriend. So we date. Actually date. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. It's <laughs> like, great. Okay. It was kind of like, what do we do now, you know? Uh, so we got out of the car, all good and all. And the cousin was like, you guys took a while. And I'm like, shut up, okay? Well, the funny thing happens now, which I got in trouble back then, really badly. But it, it's funny now. Um, we got off the car. Everything's good and all. We're kind of like talking kind of awkwardly because now we're dating. We're not just friends, you know? And, um... We go back to the car and he's like, where are my keys? I'm like, I don't know, where are they? And he looks in the car and they're in the freaking seat. The keys are on the seat. I'm like, oh no. Like, oh no. I'm like, shit. And I was like, is it locked? Yeah, all doors are locked. Okay, that's one thing I say. And that's why I always make an excuse of why I never locked his door. Because that could happen. Because it's happened more times than that, guys, okay? So, we were all stressed out. I was like, okay, my dad is going to be there at any second. And we are not there, okay? And it was like 15 minutes probably to get there to my cousin's house. So I was like stressing the heck out. I was like, open the freaking car, huh? My stuff were in the car, so it's not like I can just leave with the other guy and be like, okay, we're, we're just leaving, okay? No, my stuff were in his car. It's like, fuck. So in the end, they ended up pulling down the window a bit and me sticking my hand in. And finally, we got our stuff out. And my dad called, like, where are you guys? And I was like, shit. I was like, I'm already here. I'm like, oh, well, we're not there yet. I was like, what do you mean? So then I told him and he was he screamed at me and obviously got really pissed and ooh, yeah, it was bad. So in the end I got my stuff and I was like, you know what, I gotta go now. I was like, okay, and I remember he's like, okay, I'm sorry. I was like, no, it's fine. And he hugged me and gave me a kiss on the forehead. And I left and I got screamed at my dad and a lot of bad things. But yeah, we started dating and it was good after that, okay? Um the second day we were walking around school. And my cousin, you know, he was screaming at us, like, making fun. Kind of, you know, like, not really making fun, but, you know, like that, right? And I was like, you know, you don't really have to date me. I, was, I wasn't, like, telling him because I didn't want to date him. I was telling him because I didn't want him to feel probably humiliated by others. Because I don't believe I'm the most attractive girl in the whole world. And he could do probably much better than me. But still, he decided to date me. So, I was like, well... I don't know. <laughs> if you don't want to date me, it's fine. I mean, it's cool. And I remember I had my jacket all the way down, you know, the, the sleeves, and he pulled up the sleeve and he holds my hand. He's like, nah, it doesn't matter. I'm like, <laughs> I felt so happy that day. I was like blushing and smiling and oh my god. <laughs> so then after that, ooh, yeah, serious couple. But we actually, like, officially, with my parents' permission, started dating. Um, October 31st, <laughs> because my parents didn't know we were dating. I mean, they probably got the idea and all, but mm, they didn't actually know, I think, or, or weren't aware by me that we were dating. So, yeah, I had the, he had the guts to actually ask my parents at the end of the party because it was a Halloween party. And um, he went up to my parents. I was saying goodbye to everyone. And I was like, you didn't ask. Okay, then I guess not that important, whatever. And he went up to my parents and asked them for permission. I'm like, what? He did. So yeah. But yeah, we've been named September 16th. Like that's the day he asked me. So yeah. And it was 
pretty much a long, long one, and I'm really sorry. Uh, but yeah, I really want to tell you guys everything and let you guys know, like, the backstory, how everything with details, so you guys kind of, like, feel like you guys were there in a way, you know, and not just tell you guys plain stuff. Anyhow, I found our, not our, the book he gave me for our anniversary. He, it's pretty simple and all, but, um, he wrote it. Uh, not all, okay, he just wrote until... He wrote these pages, um, and then he just filled it with, like, a fuck ton of pictures of us. <laughs> As... <clears throat> a fuck ton of pictures, a fuck ton pictures of us, okay, well, you can't see. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um... Grab his phone and just take a bunch of pictures. So, uh, yeah. But he also likes to be in the pictures. He just posted a picture just of me. Posted, pasted, pasted a picture just of me. Um, oh, I love this day, okay? This day he took me to the 93.3 Summer Kickoff concert last year. Not this past one, but last year. And I got to see Melanie Martinez and I was dying. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyhow, um, more. This was at grad night. Grad night. It was amazing. These pictures, I love them. I don't know why. I just think they're so freaking cute. Um, Brad and I, just a picture of us holding him. Yeah. He just posted that one because he thought I looked hot. Okay? I don't agree. This was a year ago, and my body looks totally different from there. Anyhow, graduation. Our first time at the beach together, which was great. At Six Flags, my first time at Six Flags, and it was with Bay and my parents. Yes, I really like that picture of him, so that's why. <laughs> and that one, which was taken um, before I actually knew him, but I really like that picture of him. I really don't know why, but I really like that picture of him. So yeah, and then he wrote, <laughs> he just couldn't finish it, so that's why he wrote, It has been one whole year, it has been amazing, now fill the rest with all of the new memories we will create together. Yeah, the thing is that he couldn't finish the rest. But still, I thought it was really amazing. Anyhow, now this is pretty much the end of the video. Again, again, like I just said, I'm so, so sorry that this is such a long video. But again, I just wanted to really tell you guys everything. Anyhow, next story times, I'll probably make it much shorter and leave much out detail out, I guess. But I just wanted to, guys, to let you guys know how my relationship with my boyfriend, the best relationship I've, like, ever had started and how it just developed in such a short time but still it has been such a long time you know and probably for some this is not probably probably not a long time like almost two years but it's the longest i've ever had the longest previous from that was eight months and in that relationship i saw my boyfriend back then like five times in the whole relationship so it wasn't really a relationship but yeah so i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> um and let me know down below if you guys have any other suggestions for any other videos because I'll definitely try to do them. Again, as I've mentioned in my previous, no hauls. I'm not going to do any hauls soon just because I really don't have money right now. So I can't buy stuff. So I can't do any Wish hauls or AliExpress hauls or Chick Me Is It hauls. But you guys can leave me suggestions down below to what apps I can buy stuff later on and i'll definitely do it okay guys uh so yeah like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time okay bye